guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is V, and if you're new here, I like to create fitness videos, vlog type videos, what I eat in a day, and new things that I'm trying out recently that um, I'll be posting the video soon to that. It's kind of different. Um, definitely, this is a new channel, so feel free to click the subscribe button down below. It's red, it's a subscribe, it's super cute, super cool. Oh, also feel free to uh, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at newbiefitness. So today we're going to be doing a leg and booty workout. It's going to be a hype hypertrophy, hypertrophy leg workout, I think I said that right. And basically that's when you do a low weight and high rep type workout. So the great part about this is that you don't really need any equipment. The pre-weighted barbell should do for most of the workout. Uh, depending on which gym you go to, they can go up to 100 pounds, but you do have to like lift it and put it onto your shoulders and <laughs> My upper body strength ain't on point, you know what I mean? During my workout split, I like to do two hypertrophy days and one strength day. Uh, so basically Mondays, I will do hypertrophy. Wednesdays, I will do strength. And then Fridays, I usually do hypertrophy, but I feel if I'm feeling extremely motivated and I wanna like lift some heavy stuff, then I'll do strength again, but it depends on the week. I'll leave the workout in the description. Feel free to screenshot that and take it with you to the gym. Uh, during the video, I'll have a voiceover playing throughout the clip. There's gonna be tips, some tricks, some very that I'm gonna give you that you could do. Every exercise affects everybody's body differently, so you might feel it more in certain areas than other people do with the, the same exercise. So I'll give you different variations so that you're making sure that you're feeling it in the spot that you want to feel it in. I hope you like this workout, and let's get into the workout. All right guys, let's kick off this workout with a little body weight exercise to get the legs warmed up. You can use a bench or a box for this exercise as well, or even use a stepper like I'm doing here. With this movement, you're going to want to stay in a squat position as much as you can throughout. I did 15 reps per leg for two sets. What I mean by this is that I did 15 reps using the same leg to go up and down from the stepper, then another 15 reps using the other leg. Keep your back straight and really push through your heels, especially coming up on the stepper. Next, I did pulse squats. I used a lighter weight for this and I did 40 reps times 4 sets. Yep. 40 reps. <laughs> Never fully extend your legs on this motion because we want to keep that tension in our muscles. Keep your back straight and push through your heels to make sure to activate the glutes. If you want to activate your quads, you can complete the same movement, but you can add little five pound plates under your heels. The incline will cause you to use your quads more than your hamstrings and your glutes. Then I went into pulsing single leg RDLs. RDL stands for Romanian deadlift, in case you didn't know. For these, I did 20 reps per leg times four sets. Because I was going for lighter weight this day, I thought the pulse and higher reps would be a fun little variation to try, and let me tell you, it was a real challenge. Try to keep your back as straight as possible with a slight bend in your knee. Try to keep your shoulders back and your head in line with your spine. <laughs> that rhymed, in line with your spine. I'm basically a poet and I didn't even know it. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> then I did some crab walks. I did 30 reps times three sets. You can add a resistance band for this for an extra challenge. Same thing here, keep your back straight, push through your heels, and stay in a squat-like position. The next two movements are a superset, and man do I love supersets, they really burn your muscles. In case you didn't know, a superset is when you complete two movements back to back with little to no rest in between. And yes, it sounds like it feels. I superset lunges with Bulgarian split squats. I did 12 reps times 3 sets for each leg. For both of these exercises, keep your back straight and push through your heels. If you feel the lunge or split squat more in your quads, try a wider stance. This will activate the hamstrings and glutes more. Similarly, if you want more quad action, opt for a closer stance. Use the same leg to do both exercises before switching leg. I rest about one minute in between sets. One set, though, equals both legs completed. Then I did elevated reverse lunges. The elevation just allows you to get more depth, but it isn't necessary. I did 10 reps times three sets, and it burns your glutes. Trust me. 
Um, a little variation that you can do with this, if you don't want to do reverse lunges, you can do, I forget what they're called, cross, yeah, you can do crossover lunges, where instead of just backing out into the lunge, you can just crisscross slightly to the side, and I've heard that people say that this activates your glutes more. To me, I pretty much feel it the same, it depends on the person. Then I went into step ups with a kickback. I did 12 reps times 3 sets per leg. Try not to jump into your step up. I know I do this all the time and it's really hard, but I have to really focus. Let your leg raise you as much as you can without any help from the floor. Keep your back straight and it's very important to push through your heels. If you're feeling this more in your quads, try a taller bench or step. The higher the step, the more your leg will create a bend in your knee and the more you'll have to push through your heel in order to get yourself back up. Lastly, I did a hip thrust burnout, and I absolutely love hip thrusts, so a hip thrust burnout is like one of my favorite things to do ever. I absolutely love this. I did 40 reps times 2-3 to three sets. Keep your chin tucked to avoid overextending your back. Try to hold it for a few seconds at the top to really get that burn. I could have held mine for a little longer in this clip, but I had forgotten my barbell pad, and if anybody knows the struggles of thrusting without a barbell pad, it pretty much feels like uh, you're, someone is just digging into your pelvis and it's not fun. So because of this, I only did two sets, but my goal was actually to do three. Um, if you feel this movement completely in your quads, which I know a lot of my friends do, you can always try the glute bridge, which is the same movement, but your torso is flat on the ground instead of on a bench. If this still doesn't work though, you can always turn around and try elevating your feet on the bench instead of having your back against it. Um, this might help activate your glutes a little bit more. If that doesn't work but you think the glute bridge would be your best bet, one of my tips that I can give you to possibly activate the glutes a little bit more is to have a little bit of an inclination behind you. You can use a bozu ball for this and that little inclination might actually help activate your glutes a little more. Hey guys, I hope you liked that workout. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know, did you try it? Did you like it? Are you sore? I know I was sore after a few days, so please let me know. I would, that would be super, super cool. Also, smash that like button. It's cute. It's got a little hand. It's like so realistic, you know? Hit the subscribe button. There's going to be a button here on the screen that you can just press and it'll subscribe you to the channel. As I said, this is a new channel, so it'll be super, super cool to get your support. It's free and it would really, really mean a lot to me. You can also follow me on Instagram, it's at Newbie Fitness. Feel free to uh, smash the follow button on there. I post a lot of anxiety tips, uh, workout tips, uh, what I eat in a day, and also um, some anxiety advice because if you do follow me on Instagram, you know that I do struggle with anxiety. So I post some uh, tips to deal with that on there. So yeah, feel free to give me a follow on Instagram and uh, let me know what you want to see next. And as I say on my Instagram, I hope you have an amazing day and you're one heck of a rock star.